The global higher education landscape is changing so rapidly. We're seeing the rise of the Asian century as the world's economic centre of gravity shifts inexorably towards our corner of the globe. This will present enormous opportunities for universities in Australia, across Asia, including our own. By 2020, it is estimated that more than half of the world's middle class will live in Asia. And this, of course, will create a demand for great university education. Across that same period, countries in Asia will establish many more great universities as governments increasingly invest in building strong knowledge-based economies. This will bring competition, competition for talented students across the region and competition for talented academic and professional staff. The University of Newcastle intends to be well positioned to meet that challenge. We'll also see changes in the research and innovation landscape as universities forge cross-continental partnerships with other institutions in bilateral, multilateral relationships in a bid to strengthen their capacity to address some of those global challenges, some of the major challenges that will face our and the next generation. And we've also got that extra dimension of the new learning and teaching technologies, the technologies that support the flexible delivery of really interactive curricula, you know, on a range of mobile devices. Um, that's transforming the delivery and the standard way we think of the classroom. You know, what is built in the cloud and what is built on the ground um, are some of the challenges uh, facing uh, universities planning for their future. Through our New Directions strategic plan, we have set a vision for 2025 for our university to be a global leader in each of our spheres of achievement. And importantly, engaging with our partners, we will ensure that it is world-class innovation that supports the development of strong communities in our regions and across the globe. So we have set pretty ambitious targets for our lead priorities in education and research in the next three years. And we have developed strategies to support these priorities through building our future workforce, through reflecting on how our campuses and facilities should look like in this future world, and really giving some deep thought to the investment that's required for our systems and our processes to work to achieve our vision. In 2012, our university was ranked in the top 3% of universities in the world by QS and the Times Higher Education Global Ranking Systems. And we were also ranked in the world's top 50 universities under the age of 50. Through New Directions, our aim is to join the top 2% of the world's universities in the recognised international ranking systems. To meet the research and innovation challenge, we will expand on our early success of our multidisciplinary approach used by our Newcastle Institute for Energy and Resources and the world-class Hunter Medical Research Institute to build additional and focused research and innovation clusters where researchers can engage with partners from business, from industry, from government and the community to address those uh, compelling needs and priorities that require the great research capacity of a world-class institution. This is also a time of fundamental change in teaching and learning in the global sector. And the possibilities and opportunities for educators are both challenging but exciting. This will require some of us to be brave and experiment to uh, develop and apply those new technologies. Uh, learning analytics, game-based learning across programs and courses and teaching to really deliver that added value that technologies can bring to the academic experience. Because it's through new directions and our rollout of a plan to engage students with these new technologies and great facilities that we will be able to apply those technologies to deliver an exceptional experience for our students. The University of Newcastle, since its foundation, has been committed not only to excellence, but also to equity. It has been through three decades of work 
building programs that enable students to enter university, that have placed the University of Newcastle as a national leader, with almost double the proportion of students from low-income backgrounds and from Indigenous backgrounds in our programs. The University of Newcastle will maintain a focus on equity and indeed aspires to build a centre of excellence in equity, which together with our wonderful Wallatooka Institute will ensure that bright students from all backgrounds can gain a place at the University of Newcastle in years to come. Ahead, there are many great challenges, but we can realise enormous opportunities. It is with the support and engagement of our friends, our communities, our staff, that we will achieve our vision and we will make a significant and lasting contribution to the economic prosperity and social cohesion of our regions across the world. <laughs>